All right, ladies and gentlemen, happy Labor Day. Thanks for joining us on this beautiful Monday on the Monday Morning Motivation Zoom. My name is Austin Zuloff out here in Lexington, Kentucky, and we've got so much exciting news that it's just, it's wild, to be honest with you. So many of you are excited about what you know. You may be very excited about, you know, just some of the simple things that I posted about in the Facebook group today. Uh, you may be excited about the new branding, you know, having merchant accounts based in the U.S. finally, so it's easier to sign up or having our new shipping facilities open and, and working this week. And just whatever it is that you're excited about. Uh, and there's even, there's even a new product with, that we're, uh, we're launching in North America. So, you know, there's, there's so many things to be excited about. And just yesterday, our CEO, Jean-Michel, um, he, he gave me more work to do, which is great, but it's, it's, it's something that uh, I've been given permission to do something that will, it will give this company a whole different level of not only credibility and excitement, but it'll bring a whole other network. It's just, it's really furthering the mission that we have here. And uh, I know I'm being what I like to call artfully vague, but um, it's very exciting stuff. It really is. I'm telling you right now, Zealous will be a company that everyone is talking about and you'll be very proud to be a part of. You know, obviously you are already, but um, only for those people that take action and do something with it. You know, um, I try to be very professional most of the time, but I want to have a heart to heart talk with you all this morning because to some of you all, this might just be another day. Um, you know, I did a training for a large group over the weekend. Um, it was just a group of business owners. It was a very big international group. And, uh, I started my training by saying, you know, I'm nervous, not for me, but for you, I feel like I'm nervous that I'm going to give you what can change your entire life, your family's life, change the entire dynamic and fabric of your entire existence from this point forward. And you might not be paying attention closely enough, or you might just think it's just another day and not a day that makes a difference. So I was once told by someone who was trying to bash the network marketing profession that, I, that we love so much, I was told that uh, people typically get into network marketing out of a sense of desperation. Now, even though they were trying to bash my beloved profession, I really don't think of that as a bad thing. I don't think of, I think of that more as a compliment than I do them trying to bash uh, the network marketing space because I kind of agree with them. People that are desperate, desperate for change, desperate to find their voice, desperate to be a part of something, desperate to find purpose and meaning, desperate to live up to their expectations, their full potential. And uh, nothing else offers people the platform to excel in life and live up to their fullest potential like the network marketing profession does, nothing does. I've looked out there. So I wanna talk a little bit about two things. I wanna talk about what it takes to really do that. I wanna talk about what it really takes to maximize the zealous opportunity to live up to your full potential in life. And I wanna talk, talk about what the payoff is. I wanna talk about what it takes and I wanna talk about the payoff and what it really looks like. So here's what it takes. It takes organization. You know, uh, making your list, your prospect list, tracking every person you talk to, every exposure that they get, the people that you sign up, who they sign up, what rank they are. It, it takes tracking and organization. It takes, as far as that organization goes, managing your calendar, filling up your agenda. I use, I use and, and you know, um, I had a coach that got on to me about this um, like two years ago. I just use Google calendars. Me, my assistant, my business manager, and my wife all have access to um, my Google calendars, different colors, so we can all add things. My days are pretty much from the time I wake up, which is about 5.30 in the morning Eastern time, to the time I go to sleep, they're pretty much packed. And I like it that way. It gives my life purpose. I get so much done 
it's ridiculous the amount of stuff I have done usually by noon. Uh, it, it's sometimes more than most people would do in a week. That's what it takes. That management of your time. If something is, if you're, if you're doing something and it's not furthering you towards your life's purpose, it doesn't deserve being done. You know, I schedule time to play with my kids. I schedule time for a shower. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's all on the schedule. And it keeps me moving. It keeps me feeling good. And at the end of my day at night, I feel so accomplished. That's what it takes. It takes vision. Talking about vision, it, it takes designing a goal that's just for you. It's a selfish goal, okay? Design a goal that's just for you. Also, creating a cause of some sort. Because people will quit a job. They'll never give up on a cause. So what's your cause, okay? Um, people want something they can believe in, bigger than themselves, bigger than any one human. So it takes vision, ladies and gentlemen. Also, it takes action. You know, a lot of times whenever I do a speech for either a company I've never spoke for before or a group or whatever the case may be, I love, before, before everything gets started, I'll go in there and I'll take a piece of tape and I'll tape a $20 bill to the uh, bottom of a chair. And, um, you know, and heads up, if you ever were, when we're doing in-person events again, there'll be a $20 bill under somebody's chair, if not a $100 bill, it just depends on what kind of cash I have on me at the time. So I love doing that. And then at the end of my speech, I have everyone stand up and check out, check under their chair. I, you know, whoever gets it, I have them come up on stage, and you know, we we have a little fun. And I say, hey, moral of the story is, no matter how good the company, no matter gr how great the product, the leadership, the compensation plan, you still got to get off your ass to make a dollar, right? Doesn't matter. We put together nothing short of a masterpiece with zealous products no one in the world has high impact products and no one in the world can have because we patented the strain of algae we patented the the type of photo bioreactors you need to even be able to create the product itself and we've got several products coming that you guys have no idea about that are the only people we're the only people that don't have them We've created a masterpiece with the compensation plan with the mobile app the leadership the everything that we've got something that never happens. We've got it, you know? Um, you know, so it takes action though. All out massive action. If you want okay results, you have to put in some good action, some good activities. If you want good results, you need great activities. You want great results, outstanding activities. And by God, if you want outstanding results, you need to put in insane activities just work and that does mean sacrifice sometimes i haven't made it to every single ball game you know i skipped my grandmother who helped raise me's funeral to go to a business event so it does take that sometimes now not if you just want good results if you just want an extra thousand or two per month i'm not talking about that so it also takes mental toughness. So I've been involved in the network marketing space for about a decade now. You know, Anne's got me by two decades, you know, but I've been involved for about a decade and I've learned that the people you start with won't be the people you end up with. I had some good friends, some folks that I thought were some good friends and the whole friendship was related about business. You don't get that with me, okay? If we're friends, if we're in this together, you leave and go to be a part of another company or whatever you do, I'm still your boy, all right? I value the relationship more than I do the business. It takes mental toughness, you know, because challenges, issues, setbacks, roadblocks, hurdles will come up, especially during this pre-launch. It will happen, I'm telling you right now. And then when we grow again, by God, we'll have more challenges, issues, hurdles, setbacks, all that stuff. You know, and it takes mental toughness. Anything in life worth having is worth working for. It's worth working through. What else does it take? It takes consistency. 
doing it when you don't feel like it. I had to give a, uh, I had a, a home business presentation scheduled one time when I had the flu. This was like three or four years ago. And um, I am a big wuss when it comes to being sick. I hate being sick. Okay. And uh, I mean, I, I, I don't like being sick at all. Um, so I, I pushed through, did the presentation. No one knew I had the flu. No one knew I was sick. And um, so there'll be days that you may or may not feel like it. I, you know, leadership is doing the thing you said you were going to do long after the feeling that you set it in has left you. And it also takes persistency. Ladies and gentlemen, continuing to do it when a sane person would give up, okay? If you want normal results, get a normal job. There are an infinite amount of factories that need workers right now. You know what I'm saying? Right now, I think that you're here because you're desperate. And I am too. Desperate to take things to a whole other level to find that inner peace, to find that group, that tribe, to leave a legacy, whatever it is. I don't want anything. I'm desperate for whatever it is that I put my heart into. Okay, but here's the reward. Let's talk about that. If I haven't scared the hell out of you already. <laughs> so here's the reward for all of that. The money can be great. It's more than that. You really don't realize the weight that's gone off your chest and how you couldn't even breathe until you're not troubled by any financial burden. Um, I had an investment portfolio that I, I found on my phone at one point in time. And this was, I don't know, two years ago, something like that. It may have been 2018. And I found, I completely had forgot about it. And there was $800,000 in there. And I forgot about it. I'm telling you right now, and I'm obviously not telling you that to, you know, to, to brag or anything. Um, you know, I'm telling you that because at one point in time, I was homeless, sleeping couch to couch, eating at the canned food drive. If a ninth grade high school dropout from Kentucky can do that well, if you just did half well, half as well, it would be more than worth it, wouldn't it? The money is great but it's way more than that. It's being able to breathe sometimes for the first time ever. It's having the options, you know, that money gives you. The reward is traveling and seeing the world, which we will be able to do again. You know, building teams and making friends all over the country and all over the world. You know, we've got folks on this Zoom right now that are in Sweden, in Belgium, in Canada, all over the world. And as this company grows, the opportunity for traveling, meeting these people, going and seeing cultures you've never experienced before, that will, will be a, a, a gimme. It'll be something that goes right along with what we're doing. I've traveled all over the world thanks to this network marketing profession and thanks to the things that I said that it takes, right? And uh, experienced some amazing stuff I would have never experienced otherwise. So the reward is helping to retire your mom in her 40s so she can live the rest of her life how she wants to or retiring family members that you love, that you want to help if you want to. The reward is walking across a stage with thousands of people in the crowd that know, you know, that they wouldn't be there if you hadn't taken action. And people coming up to you and telling you how you changed their lives, how you saved their lives. You know, and I can, I can give you a ton of personal examples just off the top of my head. You know, and I, I think I've told the story, story of uh, a young lady named Sarita uh, before on one of these Zooms, but uh, it's the first one that always comes to mind because when I met her, she was in her mid 20s with seven kids and she didn't have a dime. I told her about a business, we talked, and she didn't know how she was gonna do it. She broke down crying. She moved her seven kids in with her brother for two weeks, lifted the hood of her Tahoe and sold parts of her car for the $399 to sign up. 
it's never that people don't have the money. It's they don't see the value. You know, if they saw the value, the money is there. She lifted the hood of her car, sold parts of her Tahoe. Her first paycheck was $2,100. She worked her tail off. We worked together, hand in hand, for months. Last time I spoke to her, which was, I don't know, a year or two ago. It was, it was not, not that long ago because uh, the business we were talking about was about seven or eight years ago, maybe more, nine. Um, she, had, uh, she had started her own clothing line. She had models that were working for her. She was in, um, I, I can't remember if she was in LA or she was in New York. One of the bigger cities headed to the other one. Uh, she just got back from Africa, you know, and she was seeing the world. And it was all because of me taking action, showing her something, helping her through that, coaching her through that. That's what started it all. And that's so rewarding. You know, whenever you're up on stage and you come off the stage and someone gets there and they tell you, you saved me. You know, I'm, I, I'm one day, I hope to be where you're at. And you tell them, you know what? You're next. You're next. The reward is your children idolizing you from birth and growing up proud, wanting to be like you. My son, whenever uh, they were passing the uh, microphone around and asking kids what they wanted to be when they grew up, some kids said firemen. Some kids said, I want to be a princess, one of them said, which is really cute. My son, I want to be a network marketer like my daddy. That's what he said. That's what he says to this day. I cried the rest of that day. You know, there, there's, there's so many rewards. The real reward is looking back on a life truly fulfilled and having a heart and a soul that's full. It's full of love. It's full of gratitude. Owning that life and knowing it's yours. No one can take that away from you. You lived it. That's the real reward. So I want to leave you with uh, two quotes today, and uh, we'll go enjoy our Labor Day. And by the way, this is the week to launch your business or relaunch your business. Now is the time to start building. I don't care what you got going on in life or what's going on now. Now is the time to start building. But I want to leave you two quotes. One is an Austin Zuloff original. Uh, the pain, uh, there's pain in the process, but there's pleasure in the payoff. I always like that. There's pain in the process, but there's pleasure in the payoff. Guys, there's a price to pay for everything right? Um, another one that I really like is, may it be said when the sun sets on your life that you made a difference. One of my biggest fears is the fear of death, but not just dying, dying without leaving a legacy, without making a difference, without living a fulfilled life. May it be said when the sun sets on your life that you made a difference, that we made a difference together here as a family, as zealous here in North America and worldwide. I appreciate you all. Have an incredible Labor Day. I love you. Let's have a day that makes a difference. Thanks. Bye, guys.